day, mighty fine day, a beautiful day. I'm about to go down and hit the pool right now, swim some laps and catch a few rays. I want to do a talk on biohacking the body, changing the actual body fat set point to being at a much leaner level. Some of the supplements that I've taken in the past and still remain taking my views on them, biohacking strategies that I believe that uh, have made a big difference. So stay tuned. I think you'll get a lot out of this. And shorts are so homo, dude. Homo freaking shorts ever, dude. Come on, bro. No. Last night was one of those nights where you go to bed really early and I laid down at like 10.30 thinking I'm gonna get a great night's sleep and I sat there and tossed and turned for about, literally about three hours, which I rarely do, but I couldn't, couldn't fall asleep and so I ended up watching an entire podcast from a guy called Simi Land on YouTube and he interviewed a guy called Ben Greenfield, this guy who says he's 37, but he's got the telomere length of a, of a 20 year old. I always believe in the strategy of thinking big. There's more than enough. There's so much to go around. There's unlimited resources in this world. So I want others to do well because I already made it and I'm only going to make it even much bigger as I give more and more back, you know, to, to the world for the fruit of the rain, which the world's given me. I did like the interview that they put together. They had a lot of good strategies about aging and exercise, constant movement. And the main point, the main point that they talked about, the most important thing uh, that uh, this guy, Ben Greenfield talked about, if he could go back and look back on this, all the research he'd done about aging and biohacking the body, he said the number one thing of, of all, above all, was fasting. And he's talking about doing a fast where you're skipping breakfast, pushing it out a little bit, getting to where you're fasting like 14 to 16 hours a day, doing an intermittent fasting strategy, but then also doing like a, a three to even five day fast a few times a year, he talked about. So, hey, I, I got props from for that. One thing I do have to say that I, that I highly disagree with from, I only, with, because I don't have experience with it, but, but I know what it does to the body, and that is injections. Never. Never, never will I sub subject myself to any sort of injections. I don't care if it's God's nectar. I don't want it. I don't want injections of anything. And the injections that he got was uh, stem cells. He had uh, shots of stem cells in him, and he actually said he regretted doing it looking back on it, but he was getting injections of stem cells in the past. And I will never get, I, I, the reason I want to support injections of any kind is because it completely goes against the body's natural chemistry in the way of, def of defending itself. See, by ingesting things or absorbing them through nature, I, you know, smell, smell, sight, hear, sound, taste, the body then brings it into itself through its natural defense mechanisms and it can protect itself from any sort of potential risks that are out there. But by injecting something directly into the bloodstream, it is a pure shot. The body has no way to defend itself. It could be uh, d dangerous. Secondly, it could also just be build up a resistance to then having those things brought in through food. I had a great conversation with my friend, friend Will today, and we, all, we talked about Will's trying to get, trying to get lean, lean down. He's already in shape. He's already working out, and he's already lean. He's fit. But he's at that journey where like he's at his body's fat is at a good set point, a healthy set point, but it's going to take some hacking to really fine tune it to shred down the last few layers of like percentages of fat to where he wants to get to. And I'm not at all talking about competition bodybuilders shredded. The guys who are 6% body fat out there, uh, that's a realistic number for a competition bodybuilder. Those guys are freaking shredded to the bone. I mean, that's insane. That's just look amazing. Their backs are just, I'm not talking about that. That's a different level that I don't even really feel the need to get to. I'm talking about a healthy sub 10% body fat where you're freaking lean and shredded, able to put on muscle, but you don't have, you know, you pinch your skin. It's like, there's nothing there, but it's not like an onion. 
not that not that ripped so that's kind of where he wants to get to and I want to share like some of the strategies that I've learned about biohacking the body that's really what it takes it takes understanding that the body has a certain set point that it likes to be comfortable at and in order for it to change we have to make some adjustments and deceive it body's always thinking about survival it's like a super highly intelligent supercomputer and by giving it certain fuel sources it's always going to look for the short the least path of least resistance in creating energy so understanding some of these fundamental principles about the body are going to help you when you're trying to change its actual set point it doesn't care about how it looks it cares about surviving you know, keep that in mind. So kind of like putting you yourself in the mindset of where the body is. Uh, then you think, I am the body. I am the body. And you just start to realize, okay, all I care about is surviving. I don't care about, the body doesn't care about how it looks at all. That's what you care about. So by realizing that important point, then you can begin to make these adjustments. Highly important to do fasting. Just like Ben Greenfield said in these guys, and see me in these interview. Fasting is the number one and most important thing. So finding out how to control your own hunger and what you can do during that fasting period to create longer periods of fasting in between meals is gonna be a huge game changer. We have redefining the actual body and the, and the about supplementation, things you can take to help change the body, body's body fat. So one of the things that I've been using and experimenting with over time that you can definitely try out is something called Yohimbine HCL. Yohimbine, Yohimbine HCL. And Yohimbine is some sort of a, it's like a, some sort of an African root that helps the body to become, uh, it helps the body to burn fat, especially during the, 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 the fasted state. I have no proof of this. I just have been using it for the past, I'd say for the past year. And it's been, um, I say for the past year, and it's, it's been effective, it's been good. I mean, I can't say for for sure that it actually works or not, but I try to take it every other day or on occasion, every day sometimes, and it's just like one capsule during fasting or before working out, and it's supposed to give you a little extra edge. Get that on Amazon, and it's something that I'll put in my Amazon store in the link below. Another thing I have not used in a while, but I know it works, is Hoodia. Hoodia is another root of some kind that helps to control the appetite. So when I used to, I, I would go off the deep end in the way of cravings and wanting to eat more and more and more and more, I would take hoodia and hoodia would help suppress my appetite. I know that for experience, from experience it worked definitely well. Now I've been able to use things like apple cider vinegar and sparkling water to help suppress my appetite and that's been enough. So I rarely use hoodia at all. But for those who are struggling with appetite and they end up overeating or eating too early and not being able to fast as long, they want to try getting some hoodia. Okay, the other thing in the way of actual true biohacking the body is that, it, and that is in the way of ketones. Now, my definition of ketones is MCT oils brain by Bulletproof called Brain Octane. It's basically a high grade of coconut oil, highly refined, that is basically the best form of coconut oil in the world. It's 30 times as strong as regular coconut oil and you only need a little tiny bit of it. But the idea is, is by using that during the fasted state, it allows the body and the brain to get the, to convert these ketones and body fat into fuel to then the body is allowed to release extra fat that it doesn't, so it doesn't feel like it needs to hold on to extra fat. By adding in grass-fed butter or grass-fed ghee along with these ketones, you know, basically by Bulletproof called Brain Octane, what it can do 
is then the body can really feel like it's fully satisfied. It no longer needs to hold on to excess body fat. By being able to stay in this fasted state and then adding in these ketones and grass-fed butter, like I do with Bulletproof Coffee, the recipe for Bulletproof Coffee, which I'll put a video here. You could check it out and see how it works. I've been using it for many, a couple years now. The body then, it basically, it, it feels as though it's going to have all the fat that it needs. So by having it on a regular basis, every day, like I do, the brain gets not only charged and energized where I feel clear-headed and focused, but also the body, it feels like it's got plenty of all the good fats that it needs. So it has no need to try to store extra fat that it doesn't need. So for me, it helps to like release hard, hard, like stubborn body fat, you know, down here in the lower part of the abs, in the legs, in the glutes, stubborn areas for guys that tend to be like holding extra fat, like the last part that it, it wants to, the body still wants to hold on to. And so now when I punch, pinch my legs and pinch my, my abs, there's really nothing to pinch. There's nothing there to pinch. So it's not storing, it's not storing much at all. You know, it's, it's really, it's really working. And I know there's a lot of other ways you could biohack the body and people have gotten into smart drugs and other therapies, more advanced scientific studies. This guy, Ben Greenfield, Greenfield is definitely into if you're into that sort of research. I mean, he's a good guy to check out. But for me, I like to keep it as, as close to nature as possible. Now, granted, some of the things I talked about here today are not 100% close to nature, but they're minimalist. They're going in a small level towards like more advanced biohacking, which is adding the ketones, going and finding Yohimbine, Hudia for appetite, sparkling water to control appetite, apple cider vinegar, bulletproof coffee during fasting stages, convincing oneself that you are lean, that you are athletic, that you're shredded, you know, telling a lot of self-talk, looking in the mirror and congratulating yourself on these things is important. And then tracking your progress. I was talking with Will today about how I was meticulous about logging in all my food. And one of the things you want to build the habit of, if you haven't already, is tracking what you're, you know, tracking when you break the fast by logging in an app like MyFitnessPal, but also getting the exact amount of food that you're eating. And when I first, you know, like when I was tracking everything and had the best ideal, like breakthrough of results, I was eating as a 160 pound guy, 2,350 calories on a non-workout day with, a, with an hour of walking and then about 2,750 on workout days. So I was doing what was called like a lean bulking. I had this incredible breakthrough where I was actually eating over 3,000 calories every single day, but fasting longer. Or before I was doing like a 16 hour fast, I started going into a 20 to 22 hour daily fast, more of a one meal a day strategy, and I was able to eat more and stay as lean. So some interesting discoveries that I found over the years of, uh, of doing this stuff. So do you have any experience like biohacking the body? Have you had any success? I'd love to hear about it. I'll put my direct email below, uh, inside the description. So if you have any like, direct questions you want to ask me or testimonies you want to share. I'd love to hear about them. And uh, hey, be sure to check out those other guys' video and podcast. It was a good one. I'll leave it here at the end. And another video as well that I did on similar subjects over the past that may help give you a lot of value on this if you're trying to change your set point and biohack into the body itself. Down there. See you next time. Hit subscribe. Down here. Bell. 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 Bell.